What I look for when I judge is I'm looking for the best wine on the table. I'm looking for quality. I'm looking for the wine which is going to stand out and make my day. With gold and platinum and best in show, we're talking about three different grades of excellence. So at this stage, we're getting quite nuanced. Anything that gets gold should be really good. After that, when you come to platinum, you're looking for something with perhaps that extra level of refinement, perhaps that extra level of something that I can't really put in any other way other than saying delicious. Well, should we give it 96, but it probably, it probably won't get a platinum. And those kind of wines will go through to platinum. And then we look at all the platinums and we try and build a really balanced, enticing selection of all of those platinums, wines that the co-chairs look at and look at and look at again, to pick out for our best in show. And that's really the creme de la creme de la creme. Winning a platinum medal is something really exceptional. I think you, you see it in the reaction for the producers. It's, you know, it comes from Decanter magazine, but platinum is like the stratospheric level. So it's, it's really saying to the winemaker, this is a great wine. It just had, I think coming on from the Sauvignon Blanc, I thought, oh, I could enjoy this. So there's a lot of us here judging, and really what makes a great wine judge is someone that can be very acceptable to everyone's opinions. You get people, when you, when you start teaching them about wine, they'll say, it's really nice, but it, it really stays in your mouth for a long time, doesn't it? And it's like, yeah, that's actually a positive. <laughs> I've got colleagues here who are winemakers or who are sommeliers who are retailers, so each one of them is, is assessing the wines from a slightly different aspect, and out of that, what we get is a brilliant independent decision. Wine is a very personal thing. There's obviously quality markers that we're looking for, as in balance, as in the amount of oak, whether it's too much or too little. But then there's a certain amount of um, subjectivity. So whether we really like the wine, whether we think it tastes good, and that really comes from our experience. I mean, number eight, aromatically, to me, at this stage, okay, it's not the end of the game, but it's, it's ahead because of the, the fruit qualities come out on the aromatics. Well, there's a lot of wine competitions in the world, so um, you know, winning a platinum uh, at, at Decanter is, is quite important because it's not just a gold medal winning wine, which is hard enough to win. It's one of the very best of the golds in the competition. So you know, I think if you win platinum, it shows that that wine is of exceptional quality. Yeah, well, I mean, I think we've got a very strong class of wine here, and particularly these, you know, the Margaret Rivers, I, I think are looking really good. Does subjectivity get in the way? I actually think that wine tasting is a subjective exercise that we're trying to make as objective as we possibly can.